Hello everyone, welcome back to Webdev Mentor's YouTube channel and uh, in this video we're going to see about adding navigation bars and headers to a website. So this is the video that we're going to do something with Bootstrap for the first time in our Bootstrap learning series. So I'm going to just first give you an introduction about the nav bars and navs that uh, Bootstrap has. So in order to see the documentation for that you have to go to the component section of get bootstrap and in here the sidebar every component will be listed so we are going to first look at the navs so in navs there is a lot of types we can see there is a tabs pills uh, the tabs that you can click in order to go there and pills are nothing but separate buttons they won't be connected they won't be arranged in such a way like tabs and then there is also a vertical pit model so this is horizontal and this is vertical and then we have a justified model but uh, please make sure you read these things because the support for various browsers will be mentioned by bootstrap if it is not supported it will be mentioned in here so you don't use it i recommend not to use it so if that is not supported in some website don't use it safari and responsive justified navs so this means that the people who uses iphone or ios devices like mac os they won't be able to view the website the way you designed it so that's going to be a problem so better avoid these kind of uh, models or these kind of classes that is not supported in all the web browsers and uh, there is also a disabled link so you can see that what happens when I hover over the disabled link it just shows you that you can click it at the same time the cursor also changes so there is also a drop down you can use drop downs in the tabs and also in the pills so we come to the navigation bar nav bar so there's couple of things that you have to see in it so navigation bars nav bars requires JavaScript so if the JavaScript is disabled this nav bar is not going to work properly so they clearly mentioned this is JavaScript is disabled and the viewport is narrow enough that the nav bar collapses it will be impossible to expand the nav bar and view the content within the nav bar collapse so you have to be very clear in this so this is how a navigation bar will look like so you can easily understand it's not like the tabs and it is not like the pills it's totally different this is the nav bar that we'd be using in our website and i'll be using in my example so that you can test it out you can see that a lot of different type of elements is added to the navigation bar in the example so it's a simple link these are simple links and then the drop down link and then again we have a form element the input text box and then a button and then again these two elements are similar to the first these two elements but the difference is that you can see that they are floating on the right side of the navigation bar so we are also having classes for that in uh, bootstrap which makes it very simple for you you don't have to fiddle with the uh, float functions or float uh, properties of the CSS so bootstrap will take care of that in the navigation bar so there is a code for this it's a relatively long code for you to look at it but again uh, I'm going to give it short in my example so it will be very easy for you to understand so don't worry about it so you need these talks you have to see these talks at one point of time in order to go a little bit further so my tutorials is not going to cover each and every line of the documentation so you have to use the documentations if you need some kind of help so that is why I'm using the direct documentation of getbootstrap.com so you can use it as well so again there is a dependency for this the responsive neighbor requires the collapse plugin to be included in your version of bootstrap so you have to make sure that you use it again uh, be sure to add a role navigation to every neighbor to help with accessibility so this is not mandatory but again it makes things sim simple and easy for people so you can also create forms in the header bar so there is something so every time you see this and when you see this red just read it don't miss it so it's about support and it's about the uh, requirements for that particular element so you can also add buttons you can also add some normal text so this is something like uh, stating that who has signed in in the navigation bar itself and then alignment actually you can see that fixed top is nothing but 
that navigation bar is going to be fixed on the top we can read it it's going to be very easy for you to understand it so you need particular fixed to top component so fixed to bottom again it has a requirement again they're both the same but you have to read it so there's another type is static top and uh, inverted navbar inverted navbar is nothing but changing the color so you have seen this white color background navigation bar but in inverted it will be black and the color of the link and the text will be white so it's quite easy so let's get on to coding the navigation bar for our website so i'm going to add the nav tag i'm going to add a class which is the nav bar and i'm going to create a container for a navigation bar so we're going to give the class this container there's a lot of things we'll be adding a lot of things in here so just please uh, concentrate so we're gonna add a brand that is the logo for our website so just gonna have a dummy link in here for our logo I'm just gonna call the Dementors as a logo so let's see what it did did this a simple thing just uh, added our Dementors in here is a link so let's see what uh, it can do at a later period of time so I'm just gonna add the another div and I'm gonna add the class of uh, navbar header so this is where we'll be adding the links various links that you're gonna go first I'll be adding the unordered list so within this list would be adding before that I'm just going to add some class so this is the nav class and nav or nav so again let's check what it does nothing actually we didn't do anything so I'm going to add the first link sorry about that index.html and it's going to be home okay so let's see what it looks like now so it went down and this brand is in here and uh, we have the link is in here so let's add a couple of links so I'm going to just give a dummy link in here so about and contact are the most co common things and we refresh it we have three links in here so now let's add some color to our navigation bar so nav bar defaults so you can see that there is a background that has been given and uh, how it looks so now let's add some role to the navbar navigation it's not going to do much for it just going to add some uh, accessibility feature as uh, we've run and uh, this as of now is created a container again we haven't closed the container if I'm not wrong okay the container is closed early so we want even these links to be in that that's the reason why it got down and now it's in here and why this uh, container so the reason why we have a gap in here is uh, we used a normal container so if you want this to be at the end of the left corner all you have to do is that add the fluid container so this is going to send it to the end so this is actually how you create a navigation bar in the header part so we can just uh, send it to the right side so in order to send the nav bar to the right we'll be adding the class is nav bar right to this and what it does is that it sends all those links to the right side end so what happens is that anyway this is the end of this uh, video uh, where we have added a logo a header navigation bar with the navigation links so you can add multiple links and uh, the next video I'm just going to go to the next level of this navigation bar so we'll be adding uh, some more components from the get bootstrap into this so it will look much better for you uh, we'll be testing out different classes in this navigation bar and I don't want to put a lot of things in you as I always say it's going to be simple so again uh, if you have any kind of doubts or if you kind of have uh, any kind of comments or suggestions you can say it to us 
uh, through the comment section of this video or in our Twitter handle or even in our Facebook page so again try to do this try to implement this in your HTML file try to work it out try to research on what is there in uh, the documentation of neighbor for bootstrap and uh, do some mistakes that's going to make you learn a little more than what I teach you and uh, Stay tuned for the next video for Bootstrap. If you have any kind of doubts or issues or anything wrong with this video, please let us know in the comment section of this video or our Facebook page or in our Twitter handle. Thank you for watching this video and uh, please watch the rest of the video series of uh, Learning Bootstrap and Learn Bootstrap. Thanks.